Hey guys, it's Janine and today I wanted to talk to you about some of those undesirable symptoms that you feel when you first start out on keto and even down the road and what is causing them. I think a lot of people emphasize and talk about the importance of electrolytes, but they don't really get real specific and granular with it. Today specifically, I want to talk about potassium because that is the electrolyte that is the most difficult to get enough of and it can have a pretty significant impact on how you feel and create some pretty uncomfortable symptoms. I mean, you kind of need a lot of it. You need about 3,000, even up to 4,500 milligrams of potassium. Most of those electrolyte supplements that you're taking usually only have about like 90 milligrams of potassium per tablet or per serving. So as you can see, nowhere near what you actually need in order to avoid some of those undesir undesirable symptoms. What symptoms am I talking about? Pretty significant ones and very common ones actually. Constipation, sleeplessness, leg cramps, anxiety, rapid heart rate, even an increase in your blood pressure. Usually people will reach out to me with those symptoms and they're like, I don't know what to do. I'm taking the electrolytes. And I think that's where the message is getting lost. I think that people think if they take like a keto electrolyte, they're good. But in reality, you really need to be computing what your total potassium is to make sure that you are reaching those targets. Typically people are easily able to reach the targets of sodium and magnesium because they're just not as high. Um, but potassium can be a lot more difficult. For example, people will eat a half of an avocado and think, okay, I'm good. Avocados have a lot of potassium. You're not getting more than a thousand milligrams of potassium from an avocado. Again, if you're trying to strive for 3000 to 4,500 milligrams of potassium, you can see that a couple of Electrolyte pills and an avocado are not gonna get you there. So what do I do to make sure that I'm getting enough potassium? Well, first of all, I do take electrolytes, so that does help a little bit. And then my diet in and of itself does provide me a pretty decent amount of potassium. Red meat, mushrooms, avocado, all of those things have a good amount of potassium, as well as nuts, still not getting me to where I need to be. So what I do personally is implement a supplement called New Salt. It is a type of salt that doesn't have sodium in it. So it only has potassium, has a kind of like strong taste. So if you just add it to your food, it'll disguise it well. Um, I don't mind the taste. I actually got really used to it. So I put it on a couple hard boiled eggs and I'm good to go. It's very easy to reach your potassium um, requirements with New Salt because New Salt 1 -sixth teaspoon has over 500 milligrams of potassium. So um, it's very But there easy. are some other products on the market that are good potassium supplements as well. I actually just came across one from Dr. Berg and I really liked it. It's an electrolyte powder that only has potassium in it, has trace amounts of sodium and magnesium because the issue with um, taking something that has a lot of sodium and magnesium in it is uh, you're already getting enough if you're taking electrolytes and you're salting your food and all of that. So you don't want that to cause a problem. So that particular product um, from Dr. Berg, I found pretty interesting and um, it gives you about a thousand milligrams of potassium per serving as well. So, so whether you're gonna use a supplement or just really track your food and try to eat all high potassium foods, do not ignore the fact that you need a minimum of 3,000 milligrams of potassium daily, up to 4,500. If you are someone that sweats a lot or does a lot of exercise, you need to be on the higher end of that. The symptoms associated with low potassium will immediately go away. The cramps, you'll sleep better, you will not have heart palpitations, anxiety, depression, so many things will improve. So a lot, remember, a lot of the, those negative side effects that are associated with the ketogenic diet really have not much to do with keto itself and everything to do with your potassium levels. So take that potassium and let me know how you feel.